Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Silvano Sosoro is the Member of Parliament of South Mgirango constituency. At the same time, he is the Chief Whip in the National Assembly. When you look at the presentation of the impeachment of the Deputy Governor of Kisi County in the Senate Assembly, Silvano Sosoro is being kicked out of the proceedings because Silvano Sosoro is taking sides. And by taking sides, you can identify that there is a secret fight in between Silvano Sosoro and Simba Arati when the MCS impeached the deputy governor. Remember, there was a group that was being formed by Silvano Sosoro, the senator Onyonka, the women rep, and other members of parliament to impeach Silvano Sosoro. They never knew that the deputy governor that was in their team was going to be impeached by the same same MCS. They were trying to woo so that they can impeach Simba Arati. So when this impeachment proceedings was well, um, today, there was that hearing of the impeachment of Deputy Governor of Kisi. Silvano Sosoro, Aleonekana Meka Kando, Kando, ya Deputy Governor, Manya Mekwa impeached. Now, Silvano Sosoro is coming from Kisi. He is the member of parliament of South Mgirango constituency. Is it the chief whip in the National Assembly? It's like today, in the Supreme Court, you will find that Chief Justice Martha Kome is now the lawyer of the accused in the Supreme Court. Let me say advocate. is now the advocate of the accused in the Supreme Court and not again the judge. So it's like, Simba, uh, like Silvano Sosoro is portraying a picture that he is now a lawyer to the deputy governor of Kisi, but according to the law, he is not expected to be in that room because he is the chief whip of the National Assembly and he does not deserve, even if he is the lawyer, there are several lawyers that can represent the deputy governor. I want you to watch how Silvano Sosoro was kicked out of the proceedings. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this video and you have not liked this video, please do me a favor and ensure you like this video. When you like this video, you automatically support the work of this channel. So please consider liking, commenting, and sharing this video. If you're a visitor for the first time visiting this channel, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. And for those who are returning subscribers, I want to say thank you so much because of your support. If it was not you, you could have not reached this milestone that we are today. Let us listen to whatever happened in the Senate Assembly. The National Assembly and reverse. So, Speaker, uh, Mwishmiwa Silvana Sosoro is a member of Parliament of South Mugrango, where the Deputy Governor is facing impeachment uh, allegations. Number two is the majority chief whip in the National Assembly, Mr. Speaker. So, my concern, in as much as I'm aware of what to call 50, but you must interpret the Constitution, both Article 50 and Article 73, Mr. Speaker. I'm aware Deputy Governor Monda is allowed to have a legal representative of his own choice. Mr. Speaker, is it in order for my brother, Meshmiwa Silvanas Osoro, the MP of South Mugirango, to appear on behalf of Robert uh, Monda, the Deputy Governor, one, because he's a state officer, and two, of conflict of interest that he might send a mixed signals, that uh, he's a chief whip of the majority side in the National Assembly, and number three, whether looking at standing order 252, whether the procedure of ensuring him appears before the Senate, not only as an advocate, but also as a member of parliament, Mr. Mark you, under Article 93, member of parliament is both a senator and a member of national assembly 
Mr. So speaker, some of us who are learned friends would have wished to appear on either on behalf of either side. If we allow Honorable Soro to appear, it means as a member of parliament, as defined under Article 93 of the Constitution, we can also appear on behalf of either sides that are bringing impeachment motions to the Speaker. And number two, and finally, it is in the public domain, and this will be my conclusion, that uh, the governor of uh, Kisi, Bishmua Simba Arati, and Honorable Silvana Sosoro have had a public altercation. Mr. Speaker, I beg that we should not use Senate as a playground of local politics of what is happening in Kisi, Mr. Speaker. Could it be Senator Osoro, uh, uh, Honorable Osoro, and Simba Governor Arati extending their playful political ground to the Republic of Senate, Mr. Speaker, where we are here only to listen to charges that have the basis of evidence and can stand the test of legal and constitutional and standing orders, Mr. Speaker. So I beg that you rule that Honorable Osoro should uh, relinquish himself from representing Honorable Monda, go back to his house business in the National Assembly, and serve our party, the UDA and Kenya Kwanzaa Majority National is a chief whip. We might lose our of the bills at the National Assembly while Mweshimia Osoro is busy representing for personal, financial, gainful, and propelling his professional at the expense of the position that we gave him in the National Assembly, Mr. Speaker. So I beg your ruling and Senator Osoro should go back to serve the people of South Migrango and members of National Assembly, Mr. Speaker and allow this house to proceed. And I know Senior Counsel Katwa Keegan and the other retinue of colleague Leonard can do their job well, Mr. Speaker. So I, I request that on PO, let's uh, let Mwishmua Soro. There is no problem. They can still continue fighting with Governor Rati in funerals in Kisi, but not in this house. I submit, Mr. Speaker, sir. No. Yes, Senator Boni. Thank I you. hope it's a new matter altogether, not related to what has already been raised. Mr. Speaker. Is it something new, Senator Boni? Yes. Proceed. It is new to the extent that he has raised four things upon which you should rule. Mr. Speaker, I'm inviting you again to consider ruling on a fifth thing, namely that whereas this is the Senate, but in this chamber this morning, and for the next two days, Mr. Speaker, we have converted ourselves into a trial chamber. And therefore, Mr. Speaker, any member of parliament seated in this chamber is seated here as a judge to what's going on. Mr. Speaker, the invitation I'm asking you to make is that if you allow the Honorable Soro to then sit in this house and do something other than what a member of parliament is supposed to do in a trial chamber. Is it not, Mr. Speaker, that amount to having a sitting of the High Court, for example, where a judge would have sat on that matter, then jumps and becomes an advocate in the same court, Mr. Speaker? And, Mr. Speaker, because we are now going to be setting a precedent we request you to consider this issue long and hard because we have some very eminent lawyers in the National Assembly and this parliament who will then start abusing this to the extent that it will be the disadvantage to the impeachment process. I thank you. Senator Sifuna. Thank you, Honorable Senator. First of all, I join... Uh, is it on the issue of... Uh, no, it's a Senator separate Osoro. issue. It's, it's, it's on the issue of Senator, um, of uh, Honorable Osoro? I, I want to go on record, Mr. Speaker, supporting to the positions taken by the two senators. But I wanted to 
uh, with your very great indulgence, Mr. Speaker, because uh, one of the parties has asked us to make a decision on a matter. I was hoping, Mr. Speaker. Now, remember that those who are ganging up against Silvano Sosoro, these are the same, same members of parliament from the Kenya Kwanzaa region that are telling Silvano Sosoro that, that listen, you should not be in this house. You're holding a National Assembly office, the majority whip. Even if you are a lawyer, you should not be in this house representing the deputy governor. Because as already we saw a fight in between Simbarati and Silvano Sosoro. Now he is the advocate of the impeached deputy governor. This case is already taking sides because Ile Kikundi in Silvano Sosoro alikuwa ya kumpeach the governor Simba Arati. Uyu deputy governor mwenye amekuwa impeached alikuwa hiyo kwa Kikundi ya Silvano Sosoro. So they are feeling pain why the MCS impeached the deputy governor and not Simba Arati. Because their expectations uh, were were impeach the Simba Arati were frustrated Simba Arati were blackmail but then, after that, the deputy governor mwenye amekua impeached sahi a take over from Simba Rati because they don't want Simba Rati. So when Silvano Sosoro storming in the Senate to be representing the deputy governor mwenye amekua impeached, it's so funny. It is so, so funny. It is totally bombshell. So for me, according to the argument of Senator Cherelke, and Boni and Wale, it is a clear indication that Silvano Sosoro is using his powerful seat as the chief whip to manipulate, to manipulate the politics of Kisi. So he wants everyone to see him as someone who is great in Kisi uh, County and where he's coming. So he's being told that you are the member of parliament of South Mgirango constituency and you must work for the people at the same time, you are having your seat as the chief whip. You know your roles. But you should not come out to tell us that now you are fighting for the deputy governor. And you are talking, you are coming from the same, the same county. You are in the same camp with this deputy governor. What are you telling us? You are telling us you are declaring a fight by representing the deputy governor who, who has been impeached. So I think for me, Silvano Sosora melewa na uongozi ambaye amepewa. Amelewa totally. He doesn't understand even to use his seat in a good way. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.